everybody, hello, welcome back for another strategies, tactics and boosts video and another GP, uh, another real F1 uh, GP we, uh, we have this week, it's the Belgian uh, GP, so following F1 classes, following the real F1 schedule, uh, so we are racing in Spa and we are racing a lot of times in Spa. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time that we're going to race six times where whoever makes it to the final is going to race six, time, six times uh, in Belgium. Anyway, let's take one thing at a time. Uh, first, we have to qualify from the qualifying round to the opening round and these are the tracks we are going uh, to see and we are going to see the strategies we are going to follow uh, for the qualifying round. Okay, let's uh, see them. First of all, we see three dry races, one wet race, no high temperatures and then what we can of course see is that we are racing twice in uh, Belgium, once uh, in a dry race and the second time in a wet race. In between we are racing in Suzuka and Monza. And yes, this is going to be a very, very difficult uh, event, very difficult GP. Even from the qualifying, we have uh, difficult races, but yeah, you can see the opening and final uh, round tracks. Again, even harder tracks. We're, we're going to talk about them in our, uh, in our Friday's video. Uh, let's stick to our, let's stick to our, um, to our tracks for the opening round at the moment and okay let's get started spa we're going to see both dry and wet races uh, strategies this season uh, in many tracks the strategies uh, we don't have a lot of options uh, for our strategies, it's almost uh, a no-brainer in some tracks. So, uh, yeah, not a lot of weapons in our hands. And okay, we'll see. Race start and uh, speed. The track starts. The two track starts of Spa. So these are the boosts with both. Uh, track stats uh, as you can see and for me if you ask me there is only uh, one strategy 3-3 three, three, one pit stop if you are at the back or in the middle of the, of the grid and you have bad tire management, then uh, you need to go with mediums, of course. But if you have medium to good tire management, then wherever you start, both your drivers should go one pit stop and softs. And the same goes if it rains. We only have one choice. This is what I was talking about, that this season we don't have a lot of options, strategy-wise speaking. Uh, this is a one way. 3-3 three, three in, um, in the dry race is a no-brainer. So, uh, yeah we have to uh, we have to be lucky sometimes with our race start 
it's it's a discussion for another video uh, so three three weights for both our drivers again here let's go and see our best parts for a speed uh, setup and of course our uh, race start our, be our best race start drivers which is the mercedes drivers of course plus sign okay next one next track is suzuka it's a difficult track it's a race start and cornering track it's a difficult track um basically because of the tire management we need because the best strategy here is one pit strategy but it's very difficult to go uh with soft compounds one pit okay let, first of all let's see our uh, uh our um boost choices our boosts that have both uh track stats And then, the best strategy here is one pit strategy. Okay, 4-3 and 3-4. But, the only thing you have to do is see what your drivers can support. Can they support four laps with mediums? Three laps with softs? Four laps? If not, then we go four laps with hards. And maybe three laps with softs? It can be done for 3-4 soft hard. So, all the strategies you are going to see 4 3 hard medium and 3 4 medium hard and of course the choice there 3 4 medium hard is because in our second stint we need to be able to push if it's four laps so we go for hards even here three laps with softs four with hards even if we don't have the best tire management we can go three laps with softs, run out of tires a little bit before entering the pits, but we're going to have a fast first stint and then a full uh, power unit to use it uh, with our hard uh, compound. Of course, we can go both mediums, but the first stint is going to be the four laps, so if we run out of tires, it will be in the first thing. Never finish a race without tires. Never. Even in Monaco, I like to finish with some tires, uh, with 1% tires. Okay, never finish with zero tires a race because it's going to cost you uh, positions in the final uh, standings. And of course, basically, if you start at the top of the grid, then maybe you can go 3 to 2 and maybe use uh, a pit time boost. Just saying. And I'm saying so. this is only when we are at the top because if we are in front at the top of the grid and we get p1 by first corner then we can push we can spend our power unit we can push we can create a gap we have a free road ahead of us so uh, it's a free track ahead of us so we can push we can create a gap we can create the gap we need for a fast uh for a fast speed for a, uh, for a fast, for an extra pit stop. And by using um, a pit boosting, pit time boosting uh, boost, we minimize the time we are losing by this extra pit stop. So, um, but I would do it only if we are at the top of the grid or if we are let's say top 10 and we know that we can get p1 by first or second corner because we need 
to spend our power unit in our first team to create a gap so we can do that extra pit stop. Okay. So, and our last one is ah um, sorry, <laughs> we have our setup, our car parts uh, for a cornering, a full cornering setup. and our race start drivers again okay now we go to the last track of the qualifying which is the temple of speed defending and speed the two track starts for monza and here again my choice is going to be we see our boosts mostly we use vice or tulip mostly Mostly we use Tulip, by the way. But against the real players, I have been using Vice and it works perfectly. If you get them, if you get to go ahead of them, then that plus 25 in defending, yeah, it's, it's doing uh, a good uh, work. Okay. As I said, some tracks many tracks this season uh, have only one strategy and Monza is one of them 4-4 with hards uh, if you don't have good tire management uh, if you have medium to good tire management then it's 4-4 with mediums but the fastest choice here is 4-4 with softs but we need to use eagle unless you have let's say alonso level six level seven okay level eight maybe uh then okay even without eagle you can do four laps with softs but at the moment where we are uh at, at this point of the season 4-4 with softs with level 5 drivers and even level 6 drivers uh, and with the best tire management like Alonso or Norris um, we need Eagle but trust me if you go 4-4 with softs and Eagle it will be an extremely fast uh, race uh, so go for it if, you, if your driver can support you uh yeah and that's it because we only have uh three three tracks uh three tracks this um this qualifying we are racing twice in uh spa as we said uh so that's it for the qualifying round be careful of course uh in the rainy spa in the wet spa we need some luck uh be careful with your tire management in both suzuka and monza if your drivers can support softer compounds it will be the key to uh, gain more positions so don't hesitate to sacrifice a boost that has both track stats and go let's say for a tire management boost that can help you go with the softer compounds uh, okay let's see again our tracks we see dry races in belgium japan and italy and we finish our qualifying round with a wet race back to belgium i forgot to say pierre gasly is the boosted driver well for me at the level i have him he's not usable and we have motion and thunderbolt the other two uh, assets that are featured and boosted with 10 percent okay so that's it for our qualifying round um i hope you find we help you with the, this video 
uh, we help you, we gave you some ideas of what to do uh, in your qualifying round. Uh, I believe in these strategies that I showed you, so uh, follow them and you can get uh, big points there. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for the support, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, click the bell that will enable notifying, uh, YouTube notifying you when I am uh, live streaming or when I upload the video, and of course, don't forget to join my Discord server, which uh, link is in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time, yeah, which is going to be my live stream of my uh, qualifying round. Best of luck to your races. Goodbye, everybody.